Hi, all. Welcome back uh, to another month of our San Francisco Market Tracker, April 2024. We are showing data from uh, a month end uh, March 2024. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, as of the date of this recording, which is uh, April 30th, uh, mortgage rates are sitting at uh, the 30 year fix at 7.74%, and the 15 year fixed sitting at 6.95. That is up from uh, the month end uh, in uh, February of 2024. Um, on to month supply. So this is the total number of months to sell existing inventory if nothing else came on the market right now. It would take about 3.6 months to sell the current supply of condos. That's a 0% year over year change and 1.4 months supply supply for uh, single family homes. That's a 33% uh, increase in the month supply. Now sold listings uh, ending March 2024 again, uh, 376 condos were sold. That's down 3.1% year over year. And we're up on single family homes. So three, uh, 336 single family homes, that's a 20% increase uh, from where we were this time last year. Showing a little bit more strength uh, in the uh, single family home market, uh, a little bit down on the condo. So list to sold price, the average percent over or under the list price sold. So condos are right at hovering right at 99.9%. .9%. So um, what you, you know, typically what you're seeing in the condo is very, very transparent pricing. Uh, in single family homes, we're looking at about 8.4% uh, over asking uh, for the average uh, single family home. Uh, that's a 2% increase uh, year over year. Uh, days on market. So this is a, this is a pretty good, uh, you know, factor in, and how strong the market is, uh, what's the average number of days it takes to actually sell a property in condos uh, for the month end, uh, we're looking at 55 days. That's a, a decrease of 14.1% uh, year, year over year. And then single family homes, uh, 36 days on market to sell. That's a 2.9 increase uh, year over year. So uh, single family homes, obviously a little bit uh, hotter market uh, a lot less time uh, to sell a single family home. Condos are still um, in a softer, softer market right now. Uh, median sales price, uh, looking at 1.18 for condos, uh, just uh, about just over 0.4% um, uh, year over year. So creeping up just a little bit. And then single family homes, uh, we're at 1,697,000, 1, a 2.9% increase year over year. Uh, still a healthy uh, market in the single family home and then condos not decreasing uh, median sales price. They are taking a little bit longer uh, to sell, as we saw in our um, days on market, but they're still getting uh, the price that uh, they're listed at. So that's still showing a lot of strength with this market, uh, uh, considering the, the you know, it is still very, very historically very low inventory in this market right now. So what does this all mean? Well, the, you know, the Fed has continued its wait and see approach uh, to rates. And, um, you know, we're just going to have to do just that. Wait and see what the Fed wants to do. Uh, sales have increased month over month and inventory rose even more. So more homes are coming to the market, um, which is translating to, uh, you know, quicker sales. So uh, I, I see this spring being very, very healthy as we move into the summer months. Uh, and we'll just have to wait and see what the Fed uh, does for rate cuts, uh, whether or not they, they hold off or whether or not uh, they end up cutting and bringing interest rates uh, down just a little bit. So uh, that's your market tracker for April 2024. Uh, as always, you can reach out to me for a little bit more in-depth on your particular situation. If you are interested in getting more information, uh, if you're looking to buy or sell or invest in the San Francisco market, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and have a great one.